By 1980, the Apple II has become one of the most popular computers on the market, with sales reaching $117 million. But for Steve Jobs, it's not enough. And what he's about to see at Xerox Park will change everything. Let me try. We saw screens with windows that came up. A window looked like one program running and another window with another program. And we didn't understand everything they had and the importance of it, but the visual appearance was so drastic. My comment to Steve was, once you have that, you'll never go back. You, you knew that once you had this machine, you'd want it forever. But what Xerox sees as an experiment Steve Jobs sees as an opportunity. Xerox, being a big company, couldn't quite figure out, how do we make this into a personal computer? And Steve kept saying, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. They're blowing it at Xerox. We know how to do this. Jobs takes the idea of a graphical user interface from Xerox and creates a team to incorporate it into a new computer called the Macintosh.